need to, because we already call you like Masta. Yeah. But I get it though, Masta. It, it's his like, brand. Yeah. You know? He actually told me he got the name from the way that Tolds, uh, Toldsworth talks to you in uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, I, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, he told me that's where the tag comes from. I respect that. That's a good one. Yeah. Just Super Mario Sunshine, the only one that's out of the series game. to never get a sequel. I wish it would. Both Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine came out around, roughly around the same time. Luigi's Mansion got a sequel, but not Sunshine? Come on, Nintendo. Come on. I feel like... Sunshine's the kind of game where if you overdo it, like, you're going to do something wrong and ruin it. Like, you have, like, the Cooperlings in the next game, which was, like, come on, man. I, I never thought there'd be Mario Galaxy 2, but they did it. Anyways, reminiscent <laughs> of uh, Super Mario Sunshine, he does still have the Flood. Yes. Uh, been a staple in Mario's kit. I'm not Super sure we'll see it too much uh, against Marth because, you know, he has a really good recovery. It's going to be hard to try and go for, like, a Flood on his uppy or anything. But Master is just going to be running in, getting in Jotty's face. There's the flood, but just going to force him to go low. Yeah. Which is something that Marth can be pretty comfortable with, honestly, going low, because yeah. the way that Dolphin Slash works. It's so fast. It yeah. pokes through the ledge. No longer being frame one. It is a frame two in the air now. Oh, no. Oh, cool. oh no. First, and he, unfortunately, the DI was not in the right place. Yeah, and already off to a good start for Master Mario. Only 28%. Jotty just swinging his sword, doing his best, but a good parry on the down air. It's going to be a lot of damage. He's going to wait for Jotty to press a button in the air. There's the air dodge, but he's still just stuck under the platform. Master is sharking it. Oh, near close. Goes for the forward air afterwards, but he's not going to find it. Oh, that was The one thing about Mars is his tipper isn't that very big, but you can tell in the in the audio cues when Mars does get tipper. For yeah. Sure. Another for sure. opportunity right there. I do like the way that Master Mario is kind of playing around Jotty. Like, he understands, okay, the aim of the game for him is honestly spacing. But when it comes down to the meta for a character like Marth, having very little reward with Tipper now, and honestly the end frames of swinging the sword, yeah. not going to be very much in his favor. Ooh, down tilt, spot touch, down smash, trades with the shield grab, and now Master Mario up three stocks to one over Jotty. Nice that's the air. Jotty right there. For, I play with him quite a bit. Just raw down here, that's the Jotty right there. Yeah, the one thing that Mark does has to supplement it to himself alongside his Echo Fighter Lucina is he does have Sour Spots from not getting Tipper. The big problem is that like you have to really get opportunities for Sour Spots. The thing is, unlike Roy, he doesn't really get much for getting Sour Spots. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like, it's, Roy it's has like, Sour Spot combos where he can do like yeah. Sour Spot landing up air into like forward smash or something. But like, Mark so doesn't Mar have that. Marth has a card I feel like he has like falling up air into up tilt steel with a sour spot. The big problem there is like you said, right, in terms of percent, you wanna be going for tipper theoretically with Marth, and when you're not going for him, there's not much of a reward in terms yeah. of knockback or even damage. Versus Lucina, yeah. whose blade is persistent all around. I feel like if you were to buff Marth, honestly, I would love if he was faster than Lucina. In a sense it's kinda of separate the Echo Fighter. Yeah. And honestly just Hey, Kim. Ken is faster than Ryu and their echoes. Exactly, right? And honestly, increase the, the, the temporary hitbox. Yeah, that's the biggest thing they did dirty to Marth in this game, was the, they just the took demo. away his temporary hitbox. I remember the demo. His temporary hitbox is really good. His dancing blade was actually ridiculously well. It was really good. It was back to how it was in Brawl almost. But after the demo, I don't know what Sakurai said. He just probably said, like, you know what? This character might be too good, even though nobody else really used him that much. Dang, I wish I could try him. I only got to play the demo once at EVO. Uh, I got to try it when it was uh, over the Irvine Spectrum Center. No, sorry, Torrance, Torrance, Torrance. Anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll try Hot Marth here, especially between Game 2 between Jetty and Master Mario. Good tipper, gets him off the stage. Oh, a trade, but both of them are going to recover. Jotty taking his time, he kind of jumps and immediately air dodges down as a mix-up. Nice. He kind of has Master Mario here in a pretty solid situation when the spacing here, 44 to 100 here. But Master Mario finally gets a few up airs in. Alright, and he jumps over Jai, looks for the F-Tilt, oh, he tipper? finds that one. Sliding F-Tilt's actually insane for Marth. So yeah. Because of the way the tipper works, it, 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 it kind of slides along the ground at first, so it's really easy at tipper. Yeah, close and the way that, that forward tilt also works too is it comes from below to upwards. Yes, and that downer just going to kill him off the top, ends under 100. Yeah, that, I think that was DI. I, that move does, it's similar to Rob up here, where yeah, yeah. not quite as difficult to DI, but it does cross you up rather easily. 
a nice couple of fireballs. And I do like the fact that he's seeing, you know, if Jody's going to jump over the fireball, That's it. this is my game plan, but an immediate combo, right way to put Mark down to the level. That's what's kind of difficult for Mark, too. Like, he has to also deal with the fact that I can be comboed if I'm not playing well. But also, like, the one thing that Mark does accelerate here is if he does stall himself for a bit of a second before he performs an aerial, he can definitely get have an easier time landing uh, tippers. All right, forward throw and then just a back air, but doesn't go off stage. Yeah. He's just going to try and reset. Go for the forward air off stage, but Master has his jump. Oh. I like the counter from Jotty, but it was just good play from Master to conserve his resources as long as possible and avoid yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, but close. Like, countering Mario's up B isn't a bad idea. No, not at all. The up B just poking through, similar to Dolphin Slash, just going to get the single coin, force Jotty away from the ledge trap. I like it too. He's knowing, like, you know what? I have forward tilt, which has good range. Is that oh, no. no. He's still alive, yeah. He knows he has forward tilt for good range, and if he tippers it right, this will be Master Mario's stock. Unfortunately, in the shield standoff, Master Mario gets the back throw, puts him off the stage here. I like oh, the fireball. Narrowly avoiding it. If that connected, I think Jai would have died. I, the up tilt covering the platform, so, it's so tall still. Yeah. It, uh, it reaches over, over most of the platforms between. I think the only stage it doesn't reach over is. Um, Kalos. Oh, shield break. We'll see what Jody has to play around here. Uh. Uh. It happens, man. Sometimes you have so much things to work with and so little time. Like, like I get that he's like, oh, I can't kill him off of this because he's at zero. But you could still get way more damage than down throw up air. Man, you could have gone for, for uh, You could have gone for a full shield breaker at least and get the damage. Yeah, you could have gone for another full shield breaker. Put him off stage to try and edge guard him off. Yeah, or dancing blade at least. Yeah. Just do something that does damage. Down throw up air isn't the most damage you can do. Actually, it's not even true 